Hi, my name is Shalina Pamlu. I am the winner of MasterChef of 2012, the BBC cookery show. We opened up La Caz Mama back in 2015. La Caz Mama means mum's house and it's a Mauritian street kitchen. We're the first in the UK specialising in street food style Mauritian food with a modern twist. The food that we do here at the restaurant is a real mix of different influences. So Mauritians tend to make up Chinese, African, French and Indian in terms of our cultural descent and the food really reflects all of those ethnic identities in what we serve up here. Everything we do here is homemade. My mum comes in on a Friday and she makes us samosas and the food is halal. The restaurant is based in Bedford Place in Southampton. Today the Feed the Lion crew, um, they managed to get hold of a breakfast torpedo which is one of our breakfast items, in fact the most popular breakfast item. It's turkey bacon, chicken sausages with a warming Mauritian salsa with peppers running through it served on a toasted muffin topped with a soft fried egg so the yolk has to be soft and runny we can cook it hard if you like but that's the best way to have it our meat sharer which is perfect for two people to share. We've got some um, lamb ribs which is coated in our sweet and sticky tamarind sauce that we make here at the restaurant. We've got our mango and chili chicken wings with lime on it and that's quite spicy. Then we have our gato pima which is basically the Mauritian word for chili cakes. It's similar to a falafel but much lighter and crunchier. We have a masala aioli coleslaw. We have some roti chips and some special dips there as well. We did the crevettes crayole, which is whole king prawn served in a spicy tomato crayole sauce which has got warming spices running through it and a really nice um, grilled lime, which you can pour the juices over. So for mains, we did the magic bowl, which is our most popular dish. It's a Chinese Mauritian dish, which is quite similar to a chop suey in its kind of gravy format. It's made with chicken and prawns. We also do seafood special vegetarian. It's um, made, it's a rice based dish topped with a fried egg and it's our most Instagrammable dish. People come here, in fact, probably about 60% of our customers come here just for that. Then we had the house curry. So the house curry is a traditional island style Creole curry. It's quite medium in, in heat, but we advise that you have some of the chili on the table. And this is served with octopus and some peas made with coconut milk. It's gluten free, dairy free, and really delicious. We then gave a, it's a mutton, curried chicken mutton wrap, which is a bit similar to a burrito and it's served with uh, sweet potato fries, plain fries or salad.
Panacon, and Panacon is typically drunk across the island for festivals and prayer time, particularly in the Hindu and Tamil faith. Um, it actually originates from the Tamil community, and it has lemon juice, ginger, sugar syrup, um, it's got some spices running through it as well, and it's meant to completely rehydrate you after a long period of fasting and praying. And for pudding, no one can leave here without one of our yummy cocoa buns. Is a soft milk bun stuffed with coconut ice cream, topped with our homemade salted caramel and pistachios. And then finally we had the pina colada posset with coconut shortbread, which is a sweet, zingy dessert packed full of tropical vibes.